Reference pages on FrameMaker allow you to associate artwork with a paragraph, and this is a very powerful feature. Let's start out by visiting the reference page. You'll notice that this reference page has got several special cropping frames on it, and each one actually has a name on it. In fact, if I were to double click down here at the bottom, it brings up the name of this box, which is called Warning. Notice that there is another uh, cropping frame below it called Double Lines. These were created by simply going into the drawing tools and basically choosing the place a graphic frame command. And you draw the box the size you want it. As you do that, you are actually prompted to give the box a name. And once you name it, you simply place artwork inside of it. Once you do that, it becomes available to you in the following fashion. Let's go back to the body page, and I'm going to select this paragraph in the middle. I'd like to customize this so it uses some of the artwork from the reference page, and we're going to start out with something fairly simple. We're going to put double lines, which we saw on the reference page, above and below. And I'd like to add this to my catalog, and I'm just going to call this lined paragraph. And as I click apply, it asks me if I'd like to add it to the catalog. I say yes. And then once I do this and refresh the catalog, you'll see that there's now a style called lined paragraph. And the artwork is, are, is simply made up of double lines. So we can make this a body paragraph or a lined paragraph. Let's go back to body style <clears throat> and let's see what would be involved in making it fancier using that warning that we see here on the reference page. Once again, we return to the body page, and this time I'm going to select this paragraph and get a little bit fancier. We're going to start out by simply making the paragraph italic. Here we go. And we'll just choose the italic command. And I'm going to give it a name. And I'm actually, I'd actually, actually like to call this um, warning. So we'll have a new paragraph style to go with that. Once again, we add that to the uh, catalog, and we can see that it now has a warning paragraph that was not there before. And now let's go further by going back into the designer and returning to that same menu. Um, this time instead of putting double lines above and below the paragraph we're simply going to choose one kind of artwork and put it above and that is that artwork called warning. As soon as I do update all <clears throat> you'll see that the warning box appears. And we now have a style that we can toggle on and off very easily. So for instance if I go in, into this first body paragraph and choose warning which we see here you'll see that it automatically drops in the artwork we can change it back to a body or a bullet or anything else and in this case back to a warning now one of the advantages to this is that there's only one instance of this artwork on the reference page and it will change universally if you do any editing to the reference page so as a quick example um, I'm going to simply go in and create a sort of a shadow box effect by making a copy of the box. I'm going to use the graphic command to just move this to the back. There we go. And I'm also going to go ahead and fill it in black. Okay. The other thing I'd like to do is to make this italic and perhaps make the text all caps. So this now looks different than it did before. Um, we, we changed this one time on the reference page and when we return to the body page we discover that every instance has changed. Basically wherever we've created this paragraph it will change and so once again if we were to make this into a warning we get the box with the shadow or we can, can change it back to a body. So that's just how simple it is to use the reference page to associate artwork above or below a paragraph. This concludes this brief demonstration of FrameMaker 11 with some powerful features that you might find challenging to replicate in Microsoft Word.